Hello, I'm David Osger and this is Sign7, here to give you a look at what's been going on in the signage and wide format industries. This week we speak to specialist in wide format fabric and soft signage Faber Expercise about how the company is reinventing its brand through investments, awards and its people. Faber Exercise has been around for about 35 years. Originally we started off as a flag company. Uh, we're part of the Faber Exercise network, so that means we um, share a lot of resources with companies in Poland, in the Netherlands, in Bangkok, etc. So that gives us quite a unique post-Brexit uh, opportunity, I suppose, for our customers, because we can print in-country, which lowers the carbon distribution and gives more accuracy as well. So we've moved from that pure flag company now to a full display company with UV and Dysub here in, uh, in Leeds, which is arguably uh, one of the most modern print facilities in the UK. It's certainly probably got the most modern fleet of printers. Well, I think uh, originally when, when I took over, we were literally a sales office for the other Faber Exercise print operations. And so the fact that we're now probably the, the, the largest producing factory within the group, certainly digitally, has been one heck of a change. I think the other big change has been um, the move from screen print on fabric to digital. The technology is radically different now, so um, what we do now is very, very different from what it was 12 years ago. And I think it was probably an advantage for me, knowing absolutely nothing about print, be the screen or digital, that I just kept saying, why, why, why? And so we were probably quite early adopters uh, in, in the digital fabric space, and I think that's put us in a really strong position for now. Over the past year, the company has been nominated for and won several awards, including Wide Format Printer of the Year 2022, 30 plus employees. You've seen today, there's, it's been like a, a butcher's counter with, with numbers today, hasn't it, as you've been touring around today. I think that for us, we feel different to many people who come because we've got a lot more women, we've got a lot more ethnicities, and we have a lot more young people. And I think that's not been a deliberate policy. It's been very much a meritocracy. But what we've found is we've been very fortunate with the kind of young people we found. They're really energetic, they're really passionate, they really want to grow. Um, we like to give people a bit of rope and see what they'll make with it, and we've been really lucky. We've been we've been hiring a lot of um, a lot of people who've really been ambitious and we've allowed their careers to foster and they've either hopefully stayed with us and grown but some have left and gone and grown to other things in other uh, other industries and that's why we work a lot with FESPA on some of the uh, other initiatives in the industry to, to bring youngsters in. Well, I think the most obvious recent thing we've done is, uh, is uh, changing for the third time the way we deal with our waste and that's in three years we've had three different changes. Uh, we keep pushing hard back on the different suppliers in the waste management chain because often you find there's a bit of greenwashing at their level and we don't want to get caught up in that so it's great we've got an opportunity now with our new scheme whereby um, we pre-bale it here and pre-sort pre it out a lot before it goes into the recycling stream so that means we can be a lot more sure that it's being treated properly so that's that's the key thing but also before it even gets that we try and minimize the waste so uh, we're buying rolls in different thicknesses to make sure there's no wastage in that production um, point of view we're buying more and more products which are made from recycled products we're um, encouraging clients to not over specify in weights and things like that which is a great way of immediately halving or quartering the, the, the amount of products that, that they're using. So we've historically been always known as Northern Flags and that means every sales call we have we have to explain we're not just Northern, we're not just Flags. So it's a really good way for us to get the Faber Exercise name out and a lot of the awards that we've been going for have really been pushing in the areas where Faber Exercise as a network's been working in terms of quality and sustainability etc. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why we've, or a few of the reasons actually why we've been really working hard at the awards. We also like a good piss up and, and, and if we get a nomination we get a large booze allocation from finance and that has to be a good enough reason. 